check this out. All right, so this thing's got rows and rows of teeth on it, just like a shark. So let's go chomp out some threads. Today we're continuing on with our 4140 part here in the Abarmia. Now you may have caught some of our other videos we did on this part where we came in with a 7792 high feed mill and we're running at 350 inches a minute. Then we came in with a massive FBX drill and we pre-drilled our counter bores. After that, we came in with our inch and a quarter Harvey 1TE end mill and we tore some material out of those holes. Then we came in with our inch and a half KSAM drill and we pre-drilled all of our holes. Today we're gonna get into putting our four pitch threads into this part. So first up, we're gonna to put together our 90 degrees six flute dual lock screw in insert solid carbide chamfer mill. The recommended torque for this insert is 60 Newton meters, so we'll get this thing torqued in. Then we're gonna come in with our inserted thread mill. Now this thing has five inserts and I really like the design of the inserts themselves because they have a little dimple in them that the set screw sits in. So you can only put them in one way. Now that's important because other thread milling tools that I've used, you can put the inserts in upside down and you'd end up having tore up threads. Now that we have our roughing done, this part's really starting to take shape. And once we have the threads in here, it's gonna start looking like a lot more than just a big chunk of metal. All right, so these chamfers are in a sealing surface, but we still wanna get the best finish that we can. So we're using a six fluted cutter and we're gonna feed it about 40 inches a minute, leaving 10 thou for a nice slow finish pass with coolant. A four pitch thread is a pretty big thread to take in one cut. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna take 30% of the time and then just leave about 10 thou for a finish pass and then we're gonna do a spring pass with coolant. All right, so this is a pretty big thread mill, almost two inches in diameter. I can't wait to see how these threads come out. notice that this arbor is a little bit big for this thread mill body but the good news for us is that we only need four complete threads for this part so we have six on our insert so this arbor is going to be perfectly fine for what we need it for now had we needed to go deeper we would have ordered a different tool holder so that we could get that extra depth from this shoulder So we just finished up the threading on our part. Now this inserted thread mill did a really good job. It sounded really good cutting. We got some really good surface finish on our threads. We got six full threads in this part. I'm really happy with the feed rates that we were able to use here. We were going over 20 inches a minute for the roughing. And then we came in with coolant at five inches a minute and just finished it up and kissed the baby. So even after making big threads and six holes, all of our inserts still look brand new. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys are needing to make some big threads, you really ought to consider this inserted thread mill body. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.